Hey yo, what's going on everybody? My name is Ty Larius and today's video we're talking about something that's actually something that I don't really talk about too much. We'll be discussing rank in GTA 5 Online. Yeah, this week we have double uh, RP on the Casino Heist. The Casino Heists are the best way to make money in the game. And you have an opportunity to literally just crush the RP with that as well. So we're going to be talking about that, kind of get into it. First, let me show you this real quick. Uh, I put out on my community post, I wanted to kind of find out where everyone is with their rank. And I ask who is above or below rank 200 because I found out that rank 200 is actually the last rank that will give you any benefit to your player online. And 69% of people are below rank 200. And a lot of you think that 120 is the highest rank that benefits you in the game, and it's not. Before we get going any further, let me take a minute to talk about this video sponsor. The internet is a hellhole.com, all right? Um, you can go to this website and you can take a quiz and find out whether or not you should be watching more TV because let's face it guys, the internet is a hellhole. Your kid can be getting molested or dating some 40 year old. So uh, let's take this quiz together, okay? A cheerleader at school sends you some very revealing pictures of herself. Do you take a revealing picture of yourself and send it back, ignore her and pay attention to your schoolwork or show the picture, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I, I chose take a revealing picture of yourself and send it back. That's what you're supposed to do, right? I, but I was wrong. You're supposed to show the picture to your father and invite her over to watch some Space Ranger episodes. <laughs> oh my God. Your science teacher, Miss Lee, asks you to stay after class. She's very attractive and complains that her boyfriend broke up with her two months ago and has been very lonely. She says that, her, she says that there are some ways you can earn extra credit for class. Do you report her to the principal for acting inappropriately, graciously leave the room thanking her for her time? Or do you contact the reality show department at CNT and let them know you have a hot teacher for their hit reality show, Hot Teacher High School? And yes, that's the right answer. I'm a money grinder because not only are you going to be helping her get famous, you also get paid $1,000. Question three talks about illegally downloading some hit TV shows like Jack Howard's reality show on the internet and your buddy wants to watch them with you. What do you do? Watch them? Vinewood makes enough money they can get back to the working man. No, you dial 911 and say that you have witnessed a crime, okay? Question four, you're recording a video on your mobile phone when a car skids out of control and takes out the pedestrians on the sidewalk. Do you run to help the injured, upload it to your Life Invader page with a caption, LOL, bowling for assholes, or three, contact CNT News and let them know you have exclusive footage for sale. Again, money grinder, you need to be making money off of that, okay? Now... <laughs> Obviously, you need to take this quiz. It's super serial, and the internet is a hellhole. Wants you to know that they they thank you for taking the quiz. And remember, the internet is a hellhole. Get America back to the couch where it belongs. All right. They paid me a tremendous amount of V bucks for that. It is super serial, totally legit, hundred percent real. All right, let's get back to the video. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, so uh, you guys check out GTA Wiki. I got a lot of the information from here. Uh, good stuff, man. So they talk about rank RP is reputation points, okay? And they go down and they even give you the formula about how the rank system works, how it's calculated. And they break it down for you every single rank, what you unlock, starting with rank one. Rank one, obviously, you unlock a tremendous amount of stuff. A lot of it is missions, uh, clothing, you know, death matches, stuff like that to help you start making money in the game. Uh, you know, last team standings. These, these are all kind of like events to help you out and get going. So you unlock a tremendous amount of stuff, uh, you know, as rank one. And as you see here going down the list, you know, all these different things. And if you go to their website, again, check them out. Uh, you can click on each one of these and kind of get more information about the, the missions, the clothing, the weapons, all that good stuff. So it's really cool. Very, very helpful website. Uh, definitely check them out. So, uh, for for uh, for rank two, you unlock stunt jumps and pistol clips. There's two things. Uh, rank three, a little bit more. But you'll start to notice there's a trend here. This is something very very important. I want you guys to understand. Every ten rank upgrades, you will unlock car armor. Every fifteen upgrades or rank, you know, progression, you will uh, get a extra piece of body armor that you can hold. And every twenty rank positions you get something health related it increases your health and your health regen okay so we'll talk about that here in just a second as we're scrolling through so this is really good information it lets you guys know if you are low level and things like that and remember if you've hit 120 there is more to go all right as you see right here at rank 20 you get the health regen speed increase to 1.01 .01 as a multiplier and your health increases from 238 
to 256. So that's a big deal right there. Uh, that's really cool. It's good to know this stuff so you can kind of plan out what you'll be doing and what you need to do to get it done. All right. Going out to rank 25, you unlock a whole bunch of good stuff right there. Rank 26, uh, you know, assault rifle grip, uh, roll cage for your vehicle. So, you know, you're getting vehicle upgrades. You know, a lot of really, really cool stuff. Uh, back in the day, a lot of the, the vehicle upgrades were... Uh, limited to being unlocked only if you win a certain amount of races. Now it's, you know, they've got a, a rank unlocked to it, which is really nice. I think that helps out. As you see right there at rank 30, you get to hold three armor plates or, you know, three pieces of armor or bulletproof vest for your character. And you'll notice that as we continuously go on and show here at rank 40, again, you have the health regen speed increased to 1.03 and your health is increased from 256 to 274. So we had one at 20, we have one at rank 40, and then so forth. It goes on. All right, that's really cool right there. I like that a lot. Moving on down, rank 45 unlocks some pretty cool stuff, some tattoos, things like that. You can now hold four armor in your inventory, which is very nice. You get some more vehicle upgrades coming up. You get the uh, carbine rifle suppressor, which is nice at 47. Moving on through the 50s here, uh, you get the MG extended mag. I like that. Very good. At rank 60, your health increases once again to from 274 to 292, and your health regen speed increases to 1.05. So if you guys don't know yet, yeah, if you get wounded, your health will regen to a certain point. If you're riding your favorite motorcycle in the game, a lot of us it's a Mark II, your health will regen all the way as long as you're riding that bike. Uh, so that's pretty cool. I like that a lot. At rank 75, you can now hold six armor in your inventory. You also get the gold tint, which is nice. At 80, your auto armor goes up to 80%, right? Every 10, you get a extra uh, level of armor for your vehicle. Moving on up to 90, you get the heavy sniper. You get to hold seven armor in your inventory for your personal character. At rank 100, your armor is all the way up for your vehicle. Your health regen goes up to 1.10, and then your health rank goes from 310 to 328. And this is where people think that 120 is the highest rank for them. It's not. It's not true. They think because they got the minigun unlocked, that's it. No, it's not. You only are able to hold nine armor inventory at rank 20. I always believed that rank 135 was the highest because you finally got the 10th armor plate and that was it. But no, it goes on even further than that which is really good to know. At rank 140, your health regen speed goes up to 1.14. At 160, it goes to 1.16. At 180, it goes to 1.18. And at rank 200, your health regen speed increases to 120. It's the final health regen speed stat, and it's the final rank in GTA Online for rank-based stat increases. The only two other ranks that mean anything is 500, where the rank color, it's like the little globe behind your actual rank number, goes from bronze to silver, and at 750, it goes from silver over to gold all right so i wanted to put this video together to kind of help you guys understand and show you where to go to get more information and i really do hope this helps out you know i don't talk about a lot about rank it doesn't mean that much to me especially since i'm like a rank 950 something but it is cool to kind of strive towards that i guess i will push to rank 1000 just to say i'm in the four digits now uh which is pretty cool i guess but uh, yeah, because it does. There's a tremendous amount of low levels out there. I mean, almost 70% of you are under rank 200. So that's really cool. And remember, if you want to get rank really fast, always, always, you know, just uh, farm and grind the double RP events, double money, double RP events, and uh, uh, crates are a great way. If you if you run crates, if you go source a crate, sell the crate, source it, sell it. That's tremendous RP as well. So definitely take that into consideration. Again, I hope this video helped out. If you liked it, please leave a like. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for the Illustrator Reels content in the game. Smash that like button, and we'll see you in the next one. All right, peace out. Yeah.